What's up everybody? Today is Tuesday and that means just one thing. It's Q&A Tuesday. And many of you guys have asked me questions. I chose the top four. But one ranks amongst them all. And that question is, what camera do I use? Well, stay tuned to find out. We'll start off with question number one. And question number one comes from Madag Madagazi Travels. You can find them on Twitter, or I don't know if actually you can find them on Twitter. They keep messaging me on YouTube. But anyways, check out Madagazi Travels if they have any videos. The question is, food tasting, your reaction is funny. In reply to yesterday's video where I taste a lot of random foods are actually five random foods and give my reaction that you can click on the little eye right up, up there to check that out but we were wondering if you are stranded in the philippine islands what american stuff would you bring in your backpack well that's a good question i've never been to the philippines and so like i don't know what they have like i guess if i was stranded in the islands well see there's a thing like Am I the only one on this island or in the Philippines? You have a lot of people, right? But I just don't know how to get around. I've never been there, right? If that's a stranded that you mean, you know, I wouldn't bring anything American with me. I would just bring myself and the clothes that I have on because I'm very good at adapting to any situation. I'm an Eagle Scout. So which means that I can just pretty much just whatever surroundings that I have, I can adapt to. Um, now let's assume that we were stranded on an island and nothing was around me. What things would I have in my backpack? Um, the first thing I'll have is my camera and the two extra batteries that I have because if I'm going out, I'm going out in style, I'm gonna be vlogging the whole event, at least until my battery dies. Uh, I'll definitely bring water. I always have extra water with me. Um, now since I'm starting to work out, I have a lot more extra water with me. Um, but other than that, like, American stuff, I'd bring my American friend, Marie, you know, if I was gonna be stranded, I'd be like, Marie, come, come, come with me. But anyways, like, I'm very good at adapting, so. Anyways, good question. Let's go to question number two. Comes from PDD. His question is, if you could time travel, would you visit your future self or your past self? We'll start with that question. I would definitely visit my past self. And the reason why is I feel like the future is already pre-created. Like you can't change the future because it hasn't happened yet. But since the past has happened, I feel like I can go into the past. Now, if I go into the past, what would I tell my younger self to influence them to be different? Uh, I always have in my mind, like, I don't know if somebody has like, I like, if you die, is there like one memory that's always there that always comes back to you? For example, like I can always see myself in my dreams when I think I'm a four year old boy or I don't remember how old I am or I don't know how old I am, but I'm sleeping in my grandma's bed. I used to stay the night at my grandma's all the time and I see myself sleeping in that bed. And so I would go back in time to where I was in that bed and I would tell myself, your future is going to be very rocky. You're gonna come out as gay, all right? Come out earlier, don't be afraid to come out. If, you're, if, if you know you're gay, find those that's gonna support you. I would also tell my younger self that your dad is going to disown you. So cherish the time that you have with your dad. I would also tell him that your mom and dad is gonna get divorced, all right? Do everything in your power. You can't control love, but you can control family and how much you how much you mean to them. And maybe you can find a way that could alter their course of getting divorced. I would basically, I would only go back in time to tell my family that I love you. And maybe through that, we'll change uh, a chain reaction happen. I don't know. And what do you think your future self would tell you that would change your future? Like if the, my future self came to me today, 
Uh, you know, I would just take it to heart. I would understand where he's coming from. But like I say, I feel that your future is already destined for you, that you just lived your life in the moment and that the future determines, like, it already knows what decision. When I press that stop button, the future has already had me pressing that stop button. You know, so that's just how I feel. I, I don't feel like you can change your future, but I feel like you can change your past. All right, good question, BDD. We'll go on to question number three. Hi, Tilly. What's the dilly? <laughs> Hope you are well. What camera and lighting setup do you use? That's a great question. Uh, so I'll start off with my camera. Uh, when I was in Kansas, I was using a, uh, a Sony something rather, but I had a terrible microphone. So currently right now I use the GoPro Hero 4 Black with an external microphone. It's actually like, that's what I'm using right now. You're seeing me. Um, it records in 4K. I don't record in 4K for the simple fact that it takes a long time to encode, takes a long time to upload, and not very many people use 4K right now. So I use 1080p, 60 uh, frames per second. Uh, I have two lights, one that is right here that you can't see, and the other one that is right here. It comes from Limo Studios. I'll leave the link below. I bought it off of Amazon um, if you want to see that lighting system that I use. Um, also with the lighting system, behind me obviously I have a green screen. I use that quite a bit as well. Um, it just gives me a little extra extra that some people rare, um, rare, rarely use. So I got the two lighting systems here. So it's white umbrellas with the uh, fluorescent lighting. I got the green screen behind me. I used to GoPro Hero 4 Black with an external microphone with a tripod. It's all here. I'll leave all this stuff, the stuff that I use, I'll leave in the description below. That's a good uh, good question, Chico. Uh, uh, you can check him out on YouTube. Look up Chico Bangalore. All right, last question comes from Kelvin Videos, my main man here. And his question is, how do you edit your videos? That's a good question. I have tried many editing uh, software, everything from Windows Movie Maker to, uh, oh man, what's, I've used several. I just can't think of them right now off the top of my head. But the one that I use the most that I feel like works the best is Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, every time they upgrade, I get the next version. It's just, uh, I've ever since I've started YouTube in California, and even in school, um, I was using Adobe Premiere Pro. I did use iMovie quite a bit uh, before, which is okay. I don't really like iMovie that much, um, uh, but uh, Adobe Premiere Pro allows you to use the most transitions, allows you to change your frame rates if you want, it allows you to make a lot of setting changes that you want it. If you want a full tutorial, I'm not in any way an expert at Adobe Premiere Pro. I know a lot, but I'm not an expert. But if you want to learn how to edit using Adobe Premiere Pro on a very basic level, give this video a thumbs up and I'll be more than happy to do that. It'll be kind of just an extra video. It won't be a daily vlog video, um, but yeah. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Remember, I do this every Tuesday. So if you want a shout out on your Twitter handle or your YouTube, Submit your questions below in the comment section and I'll get them answered. I try to answer as many as I can. Sometimes on weeks I get, uh, like, no, I don't get hundreds. I'm not that big yet, but I get a lot, like 10, 20, 30. Uh, and I have to choose like the top four, top five. Um, sometimes I only get like four or five, so you all get yours answered. It all depends on uh, times. Like this week I only, got, I only had four for some fact that everybody's in vacation, everybody's out of school. like. They don't want to look at these stuff. I get it. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with others, and that's it.